street food. Street foodies, after six tropical weeks in Thailand, our vacation draws to a close today, and I think it's worth pausing for reflection. No previous to my trip to Thailand, I had barely met a single individual from Thailand. Most of my knowledge came from movies. <laughs> Through which I determined two things. First of all, you don't want to mess with them. Also, elephants are important. Now, I know it's unwise to base all your ideas about a culture on a particular genre of movies, but... It's basically the same thing. My family and I finally hit up a beach in Thailand. We trekked a few hours south near Hua Hin. The beach was really windy and the water was really choppy, but my kids loved it. Now just a word of caution, if you're going to stay at one of these beach resorts that cater specifically to families, you're going to want to go ahead and familiarize yourself with the key plot points of Lord of the Flies. It's no joke, y'all. It starts with a simple foosball game, and all of a sudden leaders emerge, somebody who had read My Side of the Mountain fashions a hatchet out of a ping pong paddle, and the next thing you know, people run for their lives. Don't think that because you're larger than them, you can win. They're organized. We did have a good time, though, and we got to ride elephants. It was about $30 for a half hour ride. Yeah, it's fun. Riding an elephant in Thailand with my daughter. Journey and I rode a female, Ashley and River rode a male. I'm not gonna go into how I know that. They pilot the elephant using just their feet behind the elephant's ears and a small pickaxe rock hammer thing. They just touch them on the head and they move. It was a pretty bumpy ride. We had to keep pausing for Ashley's elephant to eat a snack or for a herd of cattle or something. One driver got off his elephant to take pictures of the couple while they were still on the elephant. Our driver offered to do that. I said, no, thank you. My favorite part was going through the water. Did you go in the water? Afterwards, we ate pineapple. Nothing special. They just kind of cut it in a cool way. It was actually kind of a lame way to end our time in Thailand. Bonus noodles. Noodle soup is pretty common in Thailand. This broth was actually not coconut based. It had some meatballs in it, pork I'm assuming. They usually add some lemongrass and or some Thai basil, which is really good. Also, lime is a really common flavor, and all three of these are very hard to find in Xi'an, so I really enjoyed it. It tasted a lot like Vietnamese pho, if you've ever had that. That's all from Thailand, but next week we're taking an overnight train to Malaysia. Hit up the comments with your favorite elephant based anecdote, or talk to me about the snacks, Thanks for watching Street Food Season 5. Until next week, eat it on the street. Watch out for the parasites. Street Food. This is how River reacted when I asked her if she liked riding the elephants. She definitely had to think about it. Was it fun?